All right, well, I've had several requests to do Summel, so I'm taking a look at that today. This is a math game. I think it's kind of like digits, but maybe slightly different. Um, so it says we're making sums using the tiles at the bottom to reach the target number in five steps or fewer. Um, and so basically you click on the numbers down below, you put them in up above as this little video is showing us. And you're trying to just make the target number at the top and you can click on the yellow numbers, your, your results here to use them in the, the future operations. It says there is at least one solution. Okay, so here we go. We're making 651. Uh, we've got a 4, 7, 7, 8, 11, and 50 down here. Um, I mean, seems like 50 times something is the obvious way to start. 50 times 11 is 550. Then we need 101. Uh, doesn't seem great. Yeah, 50 times 13 would be 650. 14 and 15 and 12. 11, how do we get 13? And then we still need to be able to get a 1, because like 8 minus 7 would give us the 1. But we'd have to make 13 with 11, 4, and 7. You know, 7 times 7 is 49, which would add to 651 to get 700. So if we could do 50 times 14, then we could subtract 49. But then we'd have to have 14 with 4, 8, and 11. I can get 13. Wait, 13. We wanted 13 before, right? Oh, but that was... Right, because that was 8 and 7 was going to be our 1. We need 4, 8, and 11. 4, 8, and 11 can get us 30. Oh, and 7 divided by... Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, that's what it is. So, uh, 8 divided by 4 gives us 2. We're going to use the 2 plus the 11 to get us 13. Uh, we're going to do the 13 times the 50 gets us 650. 7 divided by 7 gets us 1. And 650 plus... One gets us 651. There we go. All right. So solved in five steps. It can be done in four steps. Interesting. Um, I wonder how you do it in four steps. Because I was doing 13 times 50. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do it. Okay, so I've cleared it out. Um, well, I was thinking about trying to do... Uh, 50 times 14 and subtract 49. I don't see a good way to get 14. You know, 56 divided by 4 gets us 14. And then we can multiply that by 50 to get to 700. But the problem is I wanted to subtract 49, and at this point we can't do 49 because we used the 7. And you could do like 11 plus 7 minus 4 to get to 14. But again, we've used one of the 7s that we needed to use to get to 49. You could also do 7 plus 7 is 14. Is there a way to get 49 with these three? We can get 44 with 4 times 11. We can get 32 with 4 times 8. Uh, we could also do 7 plus 8 times 50. But now we're getting even farther away. Now we need to subtract 99. And oh, we can't quite... 9 times 11 is 99. But this doesn't quite get us 9. Hmm. And we can do... 12 times 50 is 600, then we need to add 51, and again we can do 49 plus, then we have 11, which gives us a 60. Okay, well the only way to get something that ends in 1, I think, is like three times seven. 
I mean, besides the 11, obviously, but once you multiply things, it's the only way I'm thinking of. So something that ends in 3 times something that ends in 7. You know, 3 times 217 is 651, but I wonder if 7 is a multiple. Is, is 7 a factor of 651? Uh, let's see, 7, well, uh, see, it is, it is, it is, because it's, uh, because 100 times 7 is 700, 7 times 7 is 49, so it's 93 times 7, if we can get 93, we can multiply by 7, I bet that's what we gotta do, so 93, how can we get to 93, we got 50, we would need 43 more, That's what it is. It's 8 plus 4, uh, no, sorry. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 11 is 43. 43 plus 50 is 93, and 93 times 7 is 651. Okay, well... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm probably going to cut out a lot of that thinking time. That took me quite a while to come up with that. Uh, I didn't think to try, I, I usually do. So on digits, one of the things I often do is say, well, is it a multiple of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, single digits. And I kind of did that. I thought of multiples of three and stuff, but I didn't think to check multiples of seven. I don't know why, but. All right, well, there we go. Well, uh, there's two solutions. One that's five steps, one that's four steps, and four is the minimum. So I don't know, let me know if there's another solution for four steps. Um, I'd be surprised. I mean, obviously you could add the things in a different order or something, but otherwise I think that's probably the, I don't know, there might be another way. Let me know if you have another four step solution um, or if you had a different five step solution and how you did with today's Summel and uh, if, if you've been playing Summel, is this an easier one, a harder one? How does it compare to how they normally are? And uh, of course, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Now, here comes the fun part. The patient was then instructed to plug their nose and blow, kind of like eight, which is 19 minus 11. Yeah, 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 that'll work. So seven times three. Okay, well, lucky guess, I guess. And we need an L or an E still. So we have an I, we need an L or an E, we need an O or a T, we need an O or an R. Well, that was really bad. Really, really bad. So the only words that use the W or the L are the words that start with the W and the L. So, oh, poo, like Winnie the Pooh.